Hi, I'm Chris Batchelor. I'm the Managing Director of Harrison & Harrison's. Welcome to Durham and to the Harrison & Harrison workshop. We're looking at the east side of the organ, the lowest level, just next to the console. Just right at the back, you can just see the tops of the, of the wings of the case, and uh, everybody who's seen the picture of this organ will recognise the shape of that box, but from the other side, of course. While this organ has many great qualities, one of the problems for those who play the organ is that almost all of the pedal organ is on the far side of the chapel behind the case, and um, the solo organ itself, the fourth manual, is also down there in the south screen. One of the big improvements which will result from this work is that the pedal board on and bass flute currently on the stairs up to the organ will now be in the case and uh, with that will be the new pedal eight foot open which takes the place of the cello. The four foot open will be in here as well and the mixture alongside those pipes. Um, well we're up on the upper level of the organ now. Uh, we're inside the swell box and the swell organ of course is very much associated with the accompaniment of the choir and some of the quietest sounds on the organ are in this division here. There are also some very loud sounds here, trumpets and clarions, and this is a very expressive division behind Venetian shutters which are arranged across the front of the box here. Uh, and so this division has tremendous uh, dynamic flexibility from very loud to extremely quiet. We're facing um, towards the high altar this way here, and just outside the swell box is the tuba on this chest here and the tuba is the loudest rank on the organ um, a sound which is very well known and of course heard frequently in those fantastic descants which we all look forward to hearing at Christmas. Just in front of that is part of the great organ and in front of that is the rest of the great organ. As you'll see between them there's a gap which allows for access to for on a passage board to be able to get to these pipes to tune them. I'm Andrew, uh, I'm 21 year old, I'm an organ builder with Harrison & Harrison. I served a four year apprenticeship uh, from 2011 to 2015 uh, and I'm currently uh, working in the voicing department at Harrison & Harrison and of course currently working on uh, some of the pipework from King's College. Um, what I've got on the machine with me today is the pedal Chalmé which was a, an addition to the organ in the 1960s rebuild. Um, it's a four foot reed stop, which means it works by a little brass tongue vibrating on what we call a shallot. It works in much the same way as a clarinet or a saxophone. And then there's this tuning spring, which slides up and down the face of the tongue, which adjusts the vibrating length. And there's also a little slot in the top of the pipe, which you can use to adjust the regulation and then you tune it again and see what it sounds like from there. What I'm doing today is putting this back together. So what I've done is I've um, faced the shallots up on some emery cloth. And once all that's done, I then get the shallots all back into the blocks of the pipes, um, replace any of the wedges that need replacing, um, and then we put them on the machine. And then we tune them, see what they sound like. Uh, if they don't sound quite right, take them out again, perhaps adjust the curve on the tongue, and so on. So this is the next the next shallot that goes in here. And you can, you've can you got a little mark on there which shows you how far the shallot goes into the block. Sometimes these are packed out with paper to make them nice and tight so there's no kind of gap around them. And sometimes if there is a gap, we'll just score around it. And the problems that occur if there's a gap around the wedge or the shallot is that the note might be slow to come on or it might sound kind of fuzzy and hopefully with a bit of luck that should go into tune. And I'll just open the slot at the top which will then sharpen the pitch of the pipe so I can flatten the spring and it goes louder again but it was just starting to kind of choke off before. Um, so opening that slot at the top effectively makes the pipe a bit shorter. So you then have to flatten the hitch by knocking the spring up. My name's Les. I started working at Harrison's in 
1974. My job is metal shop foreman, which entails making pipes, repairing pipes, and so on. For King's front pipes that we're doing now, we're working on now, we obviously the collapsing, the feet are collapsing, so we haven't to put uh, liners inside the, the foot and the body, which obviously means dismantling the whole pipe, and that's what I'm doing today. I don't know if you can actually see where they're actually starting to go. The foot is actually starting to bore on the pipe um, and the tips are starting to collapse. Some of them have been re repaired in the past, but uh, unfortunately, you know, they're still continuing to go, so they're going to have to have a full liner to strengthen the foot up and the body. They're going to be re all, all regilded down in Kings themselves. They're going to do them on, the, on site and put them straight back into the job. Obviously, they're very soft, so they can get easily damaged. Well, hopefully, um, the people who get doing the guild are going to be very careful. <laughs> My name is Colin, and I do uh, the electrics and electronics. The cable I'm running in for Kings is quite a quite a large cable, with it being a large organ. I would estimate probably about uh, ten miles of cable. It's basically sends signals to all of the different uh, notes and actions within the organ. This one I'm doing today is from what we call the coupling system which is the output to the organ. There's a separate system for the console with the memories. It's probably about 16 meters long to its to its end and we make it we make them up to a plug so when we when we run it through the organ we can just plug it into each each department as we find them. Um, I have make a cable tree and I follow that religiously to, to keep yourself right. <laughs> My name is, uh, is Duncan, Duncan Matthews, I'm the production director here um, and we're just moving into the final stages of work on the King's project. Um, the final bits and pieces have been put into the organ and very shortly we'll be taking it apart um, down to the very last nut and bolt. Um, we'll be testing everything to make sure it's working properly, uh, packing it all up and ready for loading it into the wagons which will take it back to Cambridge. Um, and all being well, uh, we'll have the first delivery there on the 3rd of May.